The Nigeria Defense Academy's final year cadets have successfully completed the institution's one-week mandatory final outdoor exercise in just the Plateau State Capital. The event, also known as Exercise Camp Highland Adventure and Leadership Phase, is mandatory for young cadets before their final graduation as officers of the Armed Forces of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. Correspondent Funam Joshua reports. These are young cadet officers from the Nigerian Defense Academy, Kaduna. They are here in just the Plateau State capital for its final outdoor exercise for cadets of 66 regular course, that's Army, 67 regular course for Navy and Air Force, and also short service course 45 for Army. The one-week exercise is destined to test cadets' leadership qualities, endurance, map reading, command and control capabilities, among other military competencies. The young cadets officers, 632 in number, are drawn from the Army, Air Force and Navy and have barely two months to complete their program and be commissioned fully into the Nigerian Armed Forces. The adventure and leadership exercise is the final phase of their program as non-commissioned officers. If successful, they will be elevated to the various ranks that will be awarded by the Academy as commissioned officers. Different tactical and physical exercises are conducted by the trainers to the cadets aim at testing their strength, endurance, and capabilities during difficult situations. The Deputy Commandant of the Nigerian Defense Academy and Commander Operation Safe Heaven Plateau were bought at the venue of the training to inspect the young officers' progress. Assess the cadets, both individually and collectively, on leadership abilities, command and control, endurance, perseverance, and the rest. Because this is the final phase of the camp exercise. So we must ensure that they are ready to face the task as young officers in the Nigerian office. I want to use this opportunity to implore everybody here on the plateau that we see a greater benefit for us to live in peace with one another, to attract other government uh, establishments to bring in their, their participants, their, their activities here on, on the plateau. Ruth Oyetunde is a cadet's intelligence leader. She lists the skills the cadets would have acquired during the one-week exercise. The experience has been challenging. It has challenged me to pull my efforts and to also increase my endurance as a cadet and to, to make me a better officer in the, in, in the next two months to come. The cadets will proceed from Plateau to Kontongora in Niger State for the second and final outdoor training before the graduation in September 2019. Phnom Joshua, TVC News, Joss, Plateau State.